the main objective of this video is to educate the customers of state bank of india to use the internet banking for their personal account this video will dictate or will explain about how to include a third party account so as to transfer the funds and how to get the approval what are the details required before adding a third party what is the difference between intra bank inter bank transfers let us begin with the tutorial make sure that the computer is connected to the internet open the google page under the google search type online sbi pick on enter at the very beginning of the page you can find welcome to sbi in that pick on personal banking this will take you to the home page of the personal banking of sbi in the right top corner there is an icon called as login pick on the login button here this will take us to the login window where we need to enter our user id and password pick on continue to login enter the user name and the password once the user name and the passwords are entered pick on the login button here the moment login button is pressed you can find your account summary or account page now enter into the profile tab over here pick on profile to add the third party account pick on manage beneficiary which means you can add beneficiaries who maintain account with state bank of india its associate banks or other banks or visa credit card beneficiaries pick on manage beneficiary it will ask for the transaction password enter the transaction password pick on submit this will take you to the manage beneficiary window under manage beneficiary window you have the options for intra bank beneficiary inter bank beneficiary and state bank group beneficiary in intra bank beneficiary we can add modify or delete and view or approve the beneficiaries who have the account in state bank of india only in inter bank beneficiary we can add modify delete 
we approve the beneficiaries who holds the account in other banks like ICICI Bank, Access Bank, City Bank, etc. Under the State Bank Group Beneficiary, you can add, modify, delete, view and approve the beneficiaries who holds account in other banks of State Bank Group like State Bank of Indoor, State Bank of Hyderabad, similarly State Bank of Mysore. Now we want to add the account or a beneficiary who holds account in Vijaya Bank. Pick on the interbank beneficiary. Because Vijaya Bank is other bank. Under the name, enter the person name to whom you want to transfer the amount. Enter the account number. Confirm the account number. If at all the address is known, there is a provision to enter the address or the very important and secure way of transferring the amount is by entering the IFSC code. Pick on the IFS code, enter the IFS code of the bank where you want to transfer the amount. Here, the IFSC code is VIJB three zeros one zero five seven. Accept the terms and conditions. In this case, no need to enter the details of the branch because IFS code itself will determine or identify its location. Now pick on Submit. Here the fund transfer limit need to be mentioned. For instance, let us specify the limit of 1000 rupees. Now pick on submit button. We can observe here Sri Manjunatha Swami has been added successfully as your beneficiary. You have to approve this beneficiary in order to make an inter-bank transfer. Vijaya Bank, Dharmasthala, Karnataka is both RTGS and NEFT enabled. Pick on Approve. Make sure that the account number, bank name, the branch, and the IFSC code are correct. Pick on Approve. Now pick on Approve Beneficiary. You can observe under the Manage Interbank Beneficiary, there are two messages. One is approved through ATM instant approval for internet banking request approval through ATM in India. Second one is OTP. OTP stands for one time password. Pick on approve through OTP. Pick on the account here. Immediately, a mobile 
message will be sent to your registered mobile number that is called as a high security password that need to be entered before approving this beneficiary. Once the high security password is entered, pick on approve. You can observe a message here. You have successfully added an approved Sri Manjunatha Swami as a new beneficiary for fund transfer from your account. The new beneficiary, if approved by you during the period from morning 6 to evening 8 Indian Standard Time, will be activated on the same day within 4 hours. Beneficiary approved beyond this period will be approved on the next day after morning 8 Indian Standard Time. The total amount that can be transferred to the newly activated beneficiary is rupees 1 lakh during the first 4 days after activation. If you wish to activate the beneficiary immediately with full transfer limit, please use the beneficiary activation by branch link appearing under the view tab of this page if you wish to delete the beneficiary please delete the tab thank you for watching this video for more videos please subscribe my channel thank you